Hi everyone! So, do we notice anything new? Yes? No? I'll save you the trouble. This is a wig. This is not my hair. However, I've been wanting to do something with my hair for the longest time now and I've been wanting to do something grey and black but I never really thought that it would suit me. I just, you know, I wanted it. And then I thought that, you know, I'd get the cheaper version uh, before I actually damage my hair permanently. Um, I'd get a wig. And I got this from AliExpress for about like 13 euros. And yeah, some days I mean, I'm really feeling this wig. Like, I'm, I can really see myself, you know, having this sort of hair every day. But then some days I'm like, no, I want my purple hair back, or I want my orange, orange hair, you know, to remain the same. So I've been having a little conflicts with myself. But um, but yeah, right now I'm really feeling this, like really, really feeling this. That's, that's the reason I came on camera with this as well. Because I also thought that, you know, where else am I going to, you know, have fun and, and do some crazy stuff if not on camera, on YouTube, <laughs> where everyone can see. <laughs> um, so, yeah, wearing the wig for this special occasion. Okay, so the second thing, can you guys guess? Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> Um, so this is fake again. I'll come closer so you can see. But yeah, this is fake. This was drawn onto me by my boyfriend yesterday evening. Uh, the reason I got it, however, was um, just to try it out. I've been wanting a tattoo all my life. Uh, I had I had the need to get a tattoo all my life. But I'm that type of a person that I really like to think things through. And a good thing or a good trick I. I've uh, I heard somewhere that I started doing it myself as well was um, I got these little tattoo markers and all those um, water-based stickers you know water tattoos whatever they are and if you know the placement where you want a tattoo draw it on there or put the sticker on there or just you know get the image on it and walk around with it for like a month or as long as you can and if at any time you start to debate whether the timing is right or the thing or the placement or you know if, you, if you're gonna have any questions at all or any doubts then maybe you should rethink the whole thing but if you're super excited all the time like every second you look at it and you're like yeah yeah I just, I just wish it was permanent I just so wish it was permanent then it's for you um, and uh, with this one I've there are moments when I look in the mirror, I'm so happy, I'm like, yeah, I want a tattoo, it's for me, it's now, just, just let's get it done. And then there are moments when I think, I, I look at it and I'm like, oh, if I actually had this now permanently etched into my skin, I don't think I'd be that happy. Uh, and it's not really about even the image or like what, it, what this is, it's more, it's just, it's much more than that. Uh, and I don't think that the timing for me again is right or I know the placement I know that I wanted a tattoo on my back and I want it to be big but what it's what it is who's gonna do it and everything like that that's such a big process and I don't know anything about that at the moment so that's why I'm getting these little tattoos and seeing whether I can you know pull it off whether I can handle it and whether I'm ready so a little tip for you guys as well. If you're young and especially if you're young and you're thinking about getting a tattoo then you know maybe I should do that. Um, one thing I haven't talked about a couple years back um, I actually got permission from my mother to get a tattoo on my neck like the back of my neck and I didn't even have to convince her that long but yeah she, she said yes and I, I picked out the tattoo artist and and I knew what I was gonna get and everything and then I just didn't go through with it. I don't remember why I didn't but it just sort of happened that I didn't and ever since I've been thinking that if I at least now especially now if I had that thing what I wanted I wanted the unk uh, cross on my neck um, if I had it there now I would not like that <laughs> at all and I'm so happy that I didn't get it done. So that's why I'm now drawing these things on and putting stickers all over my body just to see if I can do it or not. And right now I know I can't, but maybe in the future. 
Uh, and don't you guys worry if I am going to get something permanently done. I will film the process, I will make videos, I will talk about it. So you will know, okay? <laughs> There's not gonna be any surprises, I promise. So I also finally got my second tragus pierced and it was a really funny story actually. It was, I think, 20 or 30 minutes before we had to close up shop in Alternativa, where I also uh, work as a piercer. And a lady came in and wanted her tragus done, and we did it, and then I remembered that I, I wanted to get traguses. I wanted to get my second traguses done as well. And I actually, I remembered it. I literally had forgotten about this. And um, then, I, then I asked the piercer, mm, whom I work with there, if she could, you know, do them on me. And she looked at my ears and said it was gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna explain why in a moment. But yeah, we can do it. And I got it done, I was so happy. Unfortunately, I didn't have anyone to film me. So I don't have the footage of me getting it done, but there are so many of those videos on YouTube, so you can just Google that. I'm sure you'll find something. Because in the future you might have to repierce your initial traguses as well because they were initially done to um, sort of um, towards the tip or in the middle so there, there is no room left for a second tragus. In my case there still was a little room above the ones that I had and uh, because my piercer is very experienced we got it done very nicely but as a piercer myself if you guys want it done, if you guys want second traguses or you know you're gonna want a second of anything in a tiny place, <laughs> please inform your piercer beforehand. Also, the piercing process didn't hurt that much. It was over in a couple seconds, even though it was a little trickier. Um, but yeah, on a scale of one to 10, like a three or a four for me. Again, that is so in, you know individual, the pain scale and everything, but for me, three, four. Um, one thing, however, with traguses, because most people don't know this, I feel the need to tell you. Uh, your traguses are the place, uh, the place that moves the most when you talk or speak or move any parts of your body. Therefore, if your traguses are pierced freshly and they're swollen up, they're going to be very painful. Uh, it's going to be very uncomfortable, at least uncomfortable, to smile or talk. Um, but you can also experience severe headaches or even migraines. With me, the first three days, I had severe headaches which would not go away even if I took a pill. And it was definitely hard <laughs> having a constant headache. But I've had so many letters written to me that what can I do? What should I do? I'm so worried. I'm having migraines. I've had my tragus is pierced for like a day or two, or two days. Is this normal? Yes, it is normal. And you're gonna just have to go through with it. You're just gonna have to pull yourself together and endure the pain or the discomfort. Um, there's nothing much or there, there's nothing you can do. Take those pills and do sa uh, saline soaks and that's it. But after three days the swelling should go down and the pain should stop and the discomfort should stop. Also I wanted to talk about retiring a piercing. I have finally decided to retire my sternum piercing. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, So this is my sternum. This is what a rejecting and migrating sternum piercing or surface piercing looks like. You can see it's a little purple. Um, I've had this for years. I don't know how many, but for years. And I'm finally ready to let it go because I'm planning on getting microdermals in there. I'm going to need some time for it to heal and we're going to see what the scar tissue is like but I will be getting microdermos done. And hopefully I will be filming the process and be able to talk to you guys about this because I haven't had microdermos. And I'm really, really happy that I get to um, do them. Also, um, I got some things from Crazy Factory, but most of them are pretty plain stuff. So I'm not gonna bother showing this to you, but I did get three pieces for my septum and they are so gorgeous. Crazy Factory has been coming up with amazing septum jewelry 
and I'm just, ah, uh, I saw them and I was like, oh, I need everything. But I only got three because the last haul, it, it, I, I got too many. <laughs> I seriously got too many. So this time I only allowed myself to get three. I'm going to show them to you. This is the first one. Hoping the camera focuses, yeah. So gorgeous. I've been really into gold, so all of them are gold. And I think they're all the same style. Well, they're sort of the same style. Um, but yeah, they're so beautiful. So these are, this is the same thing, but just the stones are white. I can show you the comparison as well. So beautiful. Um, and then the final thing was the reason I actually wanted to order from Crazy Factory this time. It's this beautiful, beautiful septum. Yeah. Um, I really like this because there are times when uh, the nose piercing little beads and uh, the bread beads are black, but I also want gold. So I can, you know just switch my septum to this and it would match no matter no no matter uh, whether the beads are gold or black and they were so so gorgeous um, the prices they were all five euros and 79 cents so keep your suggestions and comments and questions and everything coming because if I get enough of them then maybe I, I at least have some ideas uh, how and when and what type of videos, you know, I'm gonna make that you guys actually want to see. So, I'm gonna wish you guys a lovely evening and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!